So Among Us VR came out and of course I had to play it for my own amusement and also for content. Not that I'm running out or anything, but there's only so many Bone Lab mod videos I can make in rapid succession, so this is a bit of a break from that. And yeah, it's actually pretty good. For example, there's canonical ceilings now, and I was definitely very excited to see those. Jokes aside, it was actually a good game on its own. They even add proximity voice chat to make it both more and less scary at the same time. Also, a quick little shill before we get into the video. I've made a Discord server that you're welcome to join, link in description. So yeah, here's me trying not to die to the cold vacuum of space. Enjoy. The game starts by asking me to play the tutorial, which is pretty standard practice for video games, I guess. I don't know what mechanics would be so elusive in an Among Us port, but the only thing I learn is how to turn off the motion sickness prevention, and also a bit of a reminder of how to stalk people while hidden in the ventilation systems. With this forbidden knowledge, I join my first live game. I'm playing on Asia servers and so I'm glad to hear a bunch of fellow Australians talking to each other, and only half of them are squeakers, so we got lucky first time. The host starts the game and I'm a crewmate and so you already know that all I'll be doing this round is doing tasks and kicking ass off the goddamn spaceship. There's multiple critical equipment failures and Pink calls an emergency meeting for no reason before someone finds two people dead. That leaves six of us and two pairs of people who can vouch for each other's innocence, that being me and Pink and Grey and Blue. We decide to vote White off because it was acting strange and took half a year to fix the ship's oxygen and we vote Yellow off straight after because he wasn't accounted for. White was an imposter, but Yellow wasn't, so sorry buddy, I'll write to your family. The other imposter leaves, and so GG's boys, I even survived. The next round I'm crewmate again, and this one was pretty eventful. I run in on two dead bodies at the front of the ship, which is pretty embarrassing. What's even more embarrassing is that they vote me off, even though I couldn't have possibly killed both of them, and I even saw White leaving the scene of the crime. The imposters immediately win, and the other two crewmates graciously take the massive L, and we move on. I may never trust them again after that betrayal, and I also may need to see a workplace therapist. The next round they vote me off even earlier, because Pink said I was acting suspicious. I guess these guys just don't like the colour orange. The crewmates win by completing tasks, but I still take away Pink's talking stick. Say goodbye to one of your human rights, big guy. A bunch of rounds later I still haven't been the imposter, even though I vote them off, get killed by them, and even bash them. Come on guys, let's bash him! Shame. 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 I'm yet to be one. I join a new lobby, and of course being dressed as the spaceman version of Jesse Pinkman, I side with two Walter Whites who I definitely don't treat as if they're my two dads. There's a bit of tension between us and White and Green, because they look like the devil's lettuce and the devil's sugar, the two things we openly oppose. It doesn't help that they won as imposters either, so you could say there's a bit of a war going on. Also during that round, some kid asked, and I quote, how much for a free sample, which makes me worry about future generations. Anyway, the next round I'm finally imposter, and I plan to take revenge. I am immediately let down though because I can't take revenge on White because he's my teammate, so I have to pretend to be friends with him, I guess. I walk around for a bit, and eventually me and Green are alone in medbay. I essentially whisper meth business forever, snap his neck and jump into the nearby vent. The body gets found and I tell everyone that I'm glad he died, and they all laugh, even though his ghost is in the room staring me down probably. No one gets voted off, and I get back to roaming the halls. So far this round, White has done nothing, like he hasn't even sabotaged, so I have a little pep talk with him before we get back to it. You gotta really up your game, man. I kill another guy and find out that my pep talk has worked, and White has done something to contribute, but it would have been better if he didn't do it in front of five other people. The ejection of one imposter gives the crewmates all the confidence they need to vote off one of their teammates, and then it's back to the grind. The crewmates have almost finished their tasks, so I kill one more, but they get the final task done just in time. This game has taken a toll on my mental well-being, and I hope this video takes a toll on yours, but also that you enjoyed it regardless. Thanks so much for the support, and I'll see you next time.